For a challenge, I wanted to build a metropolis from nothing, a vast, technologically advanced glitter city in RimWorld. The leader of this project, an eccentric entrepreneur named Steve Phobos, had the means, the brain and the will to accomplish this task. Alas, en route to final destination, his spaceship crashed, leaving him stranded on a remote RimWorld, with barely any resources and only his bodyguards left alive. Oh, and the real brains behind the Glitter City project, Doc Robert. But Steve was not one to be stopped by a minor thing like his ship exploding. He decreed their crash zone to be the new Glitter City. And so the work began. And oh boy do we have a lot of work to do. Welcome everybody to RimWorld. It's been a while since I have done a proper series and now we're back in this beautiful beautiful valley with Alpine Meadow as our starting biome and of course the four boys. We have Steve the leader, Doc Robert the brains, Nuke and lost our brawn and of course we have a lot to do today we need to build barracks to sleep growing zones for food we need a fridge a kitchen maybe dining area we're gonna need some stockpiles we're gonna need toilets for them and most of all we're gonna need some defenses to survive so let's begin this area down here looks perfect to make it our first home I, I don't know, it doesn't really look perfect, but we're gonna, we're gonna repurpose it to be perfect. We're gonna claim these structures, make us out, make them ours, and look, we have water over here, that's gonna be perfect. This, this is gonna be our start and storage area. Hopefully the boys are gonna start bringing goods down here. Definitely need this food coming right here, right now. We want the components down here, and I guess we have a se separate gun over there that's pretty decent clearly this place is gonna <laughs> it's gonna need some work i'm gonna i'm gonna see if we can get in here and uh, hopefully this is not gonna be all completely collapsed but otherwise uh, this this shall be a good uh, starting place you know this area down here could be perfect for uh, some early growing purposes it's not gonna be amazing this, there's nothing really amazing about this whole area over here, but it's gonna be better than nothing, you know, for, for starters. Where the hell did we find sulfur? It's a, it's a very good question. We found sulfur. Uh, <laughs> Robert is cloud watching over there. That seems great. I think we're gonna need to give them some toilets as well, because otherwise they will definitely complain for not having toilets and such. Yeah, there we go. Lost started growing some rice for us. We're gonna have food. We have a toilet over here, just a just a latrine. <laughs> Nothing amazing. Of course, the most important thing, we're gonna need a table. And for now, just some stools next to it. It is currently 1st of December, which is summer over here. Anyway, we have like 20 days of growth period over here. So we really gonna need to hurry up, get some food and all that. If we really want to try and survive over here, you know? There we go. We have some light over here, which is beautiful. We're planting corn down here for longer term survival. And we need some some beds quickly and then a research bench. Robert is bringing the goods over here and then hopefully, I think Nuke is our builder. Yeah, Nuke is gonna start building these things. Robert is sleeping weird. <laughs> Robert, what exactly are you doing? We got ourselves a stone cutting table over here, which as is tradition, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start doing this one forever. And well, we're gonna need blocks eventually, so. Blocks is what we're gonna get. Look at Robert go researching. If you speed him up, he just, he just goes crazy. <laughs> Look at this. He's got this really cool uh, lab code that allows him to research a bit faster. So uh, he's, he's, he's doing that pretty nicely and I'm glad for it. We're gonna need power. And since there is quite a lot of wood out here, maybe I'll just start with one of these bad boys. Just a wood fire generator. We can put that to good use just to get some early power over here. Hey, now we have actual light over here. You'll love to see it. Why is Nuke mining this? Nuke, don't you have anything else to do? Let's let's get maybe sort of a, some kind of a barracks back here or something like that. Also, since we do have some granite blocks, I'm kind of thinking of blocking some of these passages over here just so we have like one entrance to our zone. Nuke would like to engage in some loving due to experience and inspiration. <laughs> 
Well, well then, uh, our robot wants to flirt and engage in some loving. Let's get some end tables for these guys so they can sleep nicely in their new barracks. It might not be the most beautiful barracks, Alas, it's better than nothing, right? This might not be the most functional colony so far or quite yet, but we're getting this rice growing pretty soon and we can put that to good use eventually. Uh, hopefully these guys are not going to complain too much about their um, <laughs> latrine situation for now. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's got to be fine. This over here is going to be just a bit of a increase to our storage zone which is currently pretty pretty small and our boy nuke has almost finished constructing this side as well over here for just a preliminary wall for now hey there we go we're getting our first rice in that's that's perfect that is good now to build some kind of a kitchen somewhere we're gonna need it ah yes there you go time to name ourselves this is just gonna be a glitter City. If you guys have a cool idea of what we should call our eventual glitter city, let me know. Otherwise, faction, we're gonna be glitter archists, something like that. Okay, now the reason for that is if you look at our ideology, we are the glitter archism people, we're the archists. Uh, we're the city builders, transhumanists, of course, those all goes well, and we are still individualists, you know? Our leaders, oh, we should definitely assign leaders. Glitter Technus is our leader. Glitter Rector is our moral guide. Don't, don't worry about it. And our research specialist is the high mind. Oh yeah, the boys are having a party. Let's go. Yoink. Steve, I believe in you that you're gonna be a great leader for us. He's now our Glitter Technus. Could we even... We have a Glitter Rector that we need. And of course, Robert is gonna be our... High mind, our research specialist. Robert is really a restless sleeper. <laughs> what is Lost doing? And what is Steve doing? Come on, guys. It's, it's not so hard to sleep properly, is it? <laughs> and this over here is going to be our new kitchen now. We're going to just, for now, I think we're going to just be producing some simple meals. Let's do like three per colonist for now. I think that's going to be fine. We're going to have a nice wall fridge over here. This one's going to be... For now, just for our simple meals, now let's make this a critical importance. And up here, I want to build a bigger fridge for, well, basically everything that we have. Ah, uh, there goes Steve. He's cooking our first rice meals. Mm, that's going to be so delicious. And now we can save these packets of our meals for, I don't know, later. Machining is done researching. I like this. Electric stone cutting might actually be very useful for us, but I do want to get up to microelectronics as soon as possible. So let's continue with ENIAC, whatever this thing is. Let's go. Our fridge is taking shape. It's going to be quite a big one. We will need a big one if we are to survive this. We're going to need to start hunting very soon. I mean, it's still summer. But, you know, the winter is coming. Let's get a butcher stable in here. Yes, I know, butcher stable in here. It's not going to be the best because it's going to be probably pretty cold in there eventually. But, yeah, you know, for now, this, this will have to do. For now, I think one cooler should be hopefully enough. If we're going to need more, we're going we're gonna to build more, I guess. Now, let's start butchering creatures basically forever. Ooh, new lovers. Doc Robert. Oh, Doc Robert tried to flirt with Lost by cheerfully making fun of her honesty. Lost became aroused and agreed to become Doc Robert's lover. Oh, would you look at that? Our first lovers. Yes, we will we will get them a proper place to sleep. I think soon or rather later, as soon as this fridge is done and dusted. I made the bridge the bridge, the fridge slightly smaller, because I don't really think we need to have it that big quite yet but eventually i think now we can also start hunting if there's any uh animals out here on the map Ooh, we have some woolly mammoths so nuke you're saying gonna try to hunt that woolly mammoth mammoth using a hammer huh this is gonna go well i can already see it good job nuke <laughs> good job now you might want to switch to your actual gun you know, you know, this thing over here and then start running away from it. And at the same time shooting at the woolly mammoth that he's trying to chase you down. Well, now they're mad. Yeah, they will never be able to catch you. 
Easy money. Just keep on kiting them and shooting them. We're eating mammoth tonight. Like, I mean, you can even stay here. You're not very accurate, but you're doing just good. Go hunt that one fully and somebody bring this one back home. I mean, he got his middle finger shattered. And he's got some leg cracks. No, actually arm cracks. It's gonna be fine. I mean, the fact that Steve is just carrying a whole mammoth home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty freaking impressive. I love it. All right, Robert, fix, fix Nuke. I'm fixing proper. I love the noises he's making when he's doing this. Today, we're gonna be eating mammoth, as I said, and Steve is gonna butcher the big boy. Oh, look at that. We also get some mammoth tusks. 725 meat. Mmm, that is delicious. Ooh, crashed escape capsule. I mean, what could possibly go wrong if we take a good look at this? All right, Lost, you open this thing. Boys, try not to shoot him if something goes uh, wrong. And these guys are fine. They're, they're not problem. There's Eddie. You know what? I'm gonna just quickly make this for prisoners. It's fine if people don't have a place to sleep. Don't worry about it. I mean, <laughs> they're in the storage room for now. Don't worry about it. And Eddie's getting the nice room. And Nuke is just apparently healing over there. Nuke, that's really not necessary. You, you're a robot. Go work on this. Oh, come on. <laughs> you brought Lucy with you? Are you? Do you have Lucy addiction? Can you have Lucy addiction? You, you don't have Lucy addiction. That's fine. He's very good at shooting. He's a workaholic and optimist. I like him already. He's part of the dutiful, dutiful pa path. But you know what? We accept different people. We're going to just try to recruit the boy. I mean, he's got no will. He's got low resistance, easy money. Now, I did promise a uh, new bedroom to our two lovers. So let's, let's just start making a bedroom out here. Maybe we're going to have it something like five by four. For now, really don't need nothing uh, complicated. Just a simple bedroom over here. Oh, we have our first raid. It's tribes people. And there's just three of them. What What is this club? That's a, that's a really cool looking nickel club. Okay, well, the boys are coming. Oh, no, there's not just three of them. There's five of them. Oh, I didn't even notice these guys were already coming. Okay, uh, they're trying to flee. We're downing all of them. This guy's a hard worker and groundbreaker for extra mining and construction. This could be this could be big because we do need mining and construction being done. Okay, this guy's a body purist, so definitely not taking him in. So I guess we can take Panda. He's an ocean lover. That's really not going to do much. But underground there can be fine. I mean, he's got he's got potential over here. As always, if you want to be part of the colony, if you want a colonist named after yourself, well, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to give themselves, give yourself a, uh, a backstory of some kind, feel free to do so. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. You know, just casually drinking L out here amongst all these corpses. <laughs> what is there not to love? <laughs> this over here is gonna be Steve's new place. So let's assign him here. It's a good it's a good bed. Mediocre bedrooms for now. Awful bedroom. We're gonna clear this. Steve, you have the whole bed for yourself, and this is how you decide to sleep. Awesome. Really, really great, buddy. I <laughs> love it. Psychic drone. But of course, there's a psychic drone. You know what? I don't mind. We're going to be just okay. Of course, it's for males because pretty much everybody is a male out here. <laughs> it's fine. A group of outlanders from butt. Okay. Butt people have arrived. It's just two of them butt people. Just two of them butt people. They love to raid us, apparently. Randy is sending friends. We have a pistol and a hand cannon. Yeah, you know, we're not really too afraid of, of you guys but i gotta admit you look kind of cool clearly these raids are trying to tell us that we need some proper defenses over here i'm gonna make that happen what the hell is a mega wolverine oh i would love this bad boy he also looked like he have killed this meadow ave I'm sure he's not gonna he's not gonna be mad that we have stolen his ave now yeah, it's gonna be fun right a group of colonists wants my lucy you know, Lucy, I could make quite a lot of money from, but you know what? I, I will give them to you. You can have Lucifer. If you really want drugs that are absolutely going to kill you, and they're looking for three, there's four of them. How are you guys going to do that? The boys who are trying to assault us are coming. So if you guys could wait a bit 
and we can we can shoot them in the meantime that would be great here comes max oh max oh max you dropped three components i like that thank you very much where's the other guy come on pepper or prepper and you have dropped beer and of course both of you have survived so we could potentially even get more recruits no he's a body purist we we do not have body purists out here i'm sorry pepper max on the other hand yeah uh, he's the man's young he's good at mining good at medical he's academian he's got extra intellect and medical skills like dude he loves fishing he's night owl that's not even a problem i think we're gonna grab him and steve is gonna be a very nice person and he's gonna go give this three luciferium to vince let's see max a bit more resistance not much will we're grabbing him sure what do you what do you like your neo justice these guys are post crusade and he is dutiful path i like that why do you drop these chaps out here chap <laughs> I realize we might not have enough storage for all of this, and that's that's a bit of a problem, but it's fine. Let's maybe just have an entrance on this side, just maybe like a full wall up here, and then enter on the other side. Oh, Steve decided to switch his gear to this excellent parka, and Nukes got himself a new hat. He also got himself some gloves and some boots, and what is this? An apron? That seems like a smart idea. Ooh, we're getting our potatoes in. That is also great. Oh, we have some smoke leaf uh, leaves. Let's not leave this rotten outside. You know, let's not leave them outside. <laughs> you get it? You get it? I know. That was horrible. I promise to almost never do this again. But let's let's make all the drugs. Yeah, let's make some joints. That's gonna be that's gonna be delicious. You know what? Maybe I should give these guys a toilet as well. I forgot that prisoners might need it as well. Oh man, we have a lot of fecal sludge. Oh, uh, looks like we do need a glitter rector role now. Who would that be? I mean, these guys are our bodyguards. I definitely want Robert to be our glitter researcher guy. It's kind of weird that he will refuse to do nuclear stuff. Although I think he can still research nuclear stuff, right? I mean, that's why he's here. And the psychic drone has ended. And Nuke has stopped flirting crazily. Oh, uh, that's great. We're gonna make Nuke our glitter rector because he's always up, you know? He's a he's a, he's a robot. He knows how, how to be a cool dude like that. And he's always around. If anybody needs a moral guide, he's gonna be there for them, you know? He's now gonna be our glitter erector. I mean, glitter... You get the idea. Oh, Steve is so busy working on these guys, constantly recruiting them, that he refused to cook. I mean, Steve, then, yeah, it's not the worst since we do have still some packets of Iowa meals, but it would be nice to have some food. And recruiting Eddie really shouldn't be that big of a deal because Eddie is also up all the freaking time. There you go, that's more like it. Steve has cooked us some meals. Mad Gazelle is chasing Nuke. Nuke, why don't you switch to your gun and you start yoinking it perfect and go finish it off and not in a horrible way i mean <laughs> this was still in a horrible way because now it's dead but y you get the idea what i actually meant with the horrible way right another shipment of rice is here that's perfect i think corn is gonna be done soon as well so that's great Ooh, eddie has now been broken let's go that's gonna be perfect. We're gonna get ourselves another uh, robot boy in here very soon. There's one thing that I'm no noticing with all of these crazy other minerals that we have, like this cassetterite deposit and we had bismuth over here. No, this is copper. We had bismuth over here somewhere. It's that there is, uh, there's no still around, you know? There's phalarite over here, whatever that is. Robert, it's got inspired recruitment. Oh, that's gonna be, that could be kind of cool. Oh, there's a transport pod crash scout name eva you're dying very soon which could be a problematic you're sluggish jogger perfectionist very smart good at shooting and you like steampunk and we got our boy max in here because robert was inspired and i went to talk to him and we got max in full on in let's go max how are you good how are you doing at shooting wow you are terrible Okay, Max, good thing we got you in. <laughs> That's great. He did remember that his can hand cannon was his, so 
I'm gonna allow him to have that. Oh, Max is a great doctor, right? That's that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty important. Looks like Robert is gonna make it in time to stabilize poor Eva over here, who is uh, it's got some severe blood loss. <laughs> And she's gonna be fine. And look at that, Eddie is joining us as well. Let's go, Eddie, my boy. He is good at shooting, though. I'm gonna give him this assault rifle that we, for some reason, still had around. And I guess he's taking the lab coat. Max is hating life for now. Why are you hating life? Oh, you're a night owl, dude. Don't worry about that. Over here, we're gonna set up some traps for our people to be a bit safer. You know, I don't like displaying my private parts or my chesticle. Yeah, I can completely understand that. All you have is a shirt. What do these guys have? Tribal wear? I think now it's gonna be time we start producing some clothing for people. Although we do have these chaps over here. Also, look at that. We're getting corn and that is a lot of corn. Oh, you'll love to see it. Max is helping over here as well, which is perfect. Thank you, Max. Appreciate that. We're gonna, we're just gonna increase the size of this area for a bit, you know, so we can uh, maybe, maybe put some more stuff over here. Just, uh, just a nice electrical uh, bench so we can start making some clothing. We're gonna need some parkas. There's a shaman merchant coming over here. Oh my, what are you writing? A wayward mobile assembler. Oh, that's amazing. And this guy over here on this gigantelope. Man, you know what? That reminds me, we need to get ourselves some animals that we can ride into battle, because this is just amazing. Oh, Max is not about diverse species, huh? And Pepper was your mother? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no slaves around here, led by an archist. Yeah, he's not really loving life. Maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should try to switch you to something else. You come over here. Let's, let's start converting Max. I don't think this is gonna really work that well, but... <laughs> As you can see, yeah, not not working so well. It's it's fine. I wonder if the shaman's gonna want to buy our Lucy because I kind of wanna get rid of it. I don't, I don't want it here, and they are buying. Good. We bought two herbal medicine from them, and they can have our Lucy. I think we should all be happy about this situation now. Now over here, we don't really have anybody assigned as our crafter right now but i have a feeling we're gonna need some parkas but before we do i want to actually do this parka research so we can get some cooler and um, better parkas i won't tell them to make one like one set of pants for eva when we recruit her and panda just got recruited as i was thinking about who should i make my first tailor i think i'm gonna make eddie he's the he doesn't have anything else ready to do right now panda hello could you maybe not cook yet i mean you're actually good at cooking so i'll allow you to do this just please don't botch it okay well panda is good at cooking i think i want panda to become a uh, main constructor for now panda is also decent at mining so i'm gonna make that a high priority as well our defenses are set over here we are getting more and more people to join us which is amazing Pants have not been made. Eddie, what you doing? He's he's working on that first. Are you gonna go make me, uh, yeah, make some pants. Let's go. Since recruitment is going well, uh, I assume we're gonna need more of these. Definitely did not want doors over there. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of our, maybe our area where we have bedrooms. That I, I guess it's as good as any. Also, I wish all of these freaking animals were not here. Get out of here, animals. Also, the sooner and the later you guys start sleeping together, the better it's gonna be so we don't have you know the problem is we have pretty much everybody being a male besides lost lost is the only lady around here i guess we need eva very soon how about you oh baltox goat is also a lady max is hating life again max come on just just be just be fine we're gonna get you a new bedroom over here and you can just sleep in darkness on your own after okay max doesn't have pants does he <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need some more pants. Oh, we got the parkas. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna make a couple of these worker uh, parkas because for the extra global work speed, mining speed, construction speed, that's gonna be pretty good. They do need 150 fabric. That is a lot. We have 620. Well, we can make four. Why did you make a poor bad nuke? How? How did you make a poor bad is the better question over here. That's yeah, better. That's a good one. We're gonna get uh, Max in here. These guys have some cloth. I'm actually gonna buy 150 of it. 
just so we can make another parka. Hey, microelectronics is done. Oh, that's beautiful. Finally, we can now start building ourselves a proper bench. Uh, before we do that, just start researching this so we don't forget that we have research to do. Eventually, I do want to make a, you know, separate laboratory for this. Maybe you're going to start mining deeper in here and uh, just just make that our research room further in here somewhere. Of course, I don't want to just mine deep into the mountain, but for now, everything is kind of close together over here because, well, we don't have that much resources yet, now do we? Well, these guys left us a gift of Molotov cocktails. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And since I was talking about not having enough materials, let's get ourselves a quarry over here where we can just slowly but surely mine something out of this. Fall has begun. First of April, May. Oh boy. But we got ourselves our first parka. It's a normal one. I like this. It's gonna be it's gonna be decent. It's an advanced parka. Ooh. Looks like Lost is gonna be the first one to wear it. That brings you down to minus 56 degrees. That's pretty cool. And look how cool it looks. I love this. This is awesome. By the way, these over here are smooth marble tiles that we're building. It almost looks as steel over here, but they are the smooth marble. And they actually have one beauty, which is awesome. Word of Panda's charm has reached white, and they've asked you for Panda's hand in marriage. Accepting this marriage proposal will cement relationship with and strengthen faction lies. Ties, not lies. <laughs> but Panda will leave your faction to join Radox Coalition. You know what I say to Radox Coalition? I say not today. High tech research bench coming right up. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna need some power up here. Alright, the last of the worker parkas have been made. We have the two cloth ones are... Well, they're not so good, so nobody really wants to care, uh, care them right now. But, gotta remember, we're getting Eva and Baltox in here eventually. People also probably uh, hate sleeping in the cold, huh? Uh, that's something we're gonna need to fix with some heating eventually, of course. And this over here is gonna be, for now, our heating solution. Just uh, building a small vent over here and a heater in one of these rooms. Not going for anything grander right now. There we go. This is gonna be now... Oh, it's an excellent bend as well. Panda, let's get you in here. And I think with this last bedroom done, let's take a look at what we have done today. We got our growing zones over here that has produced us quite some food. We got corn, we got rice, we got some potatoes. And of course, we hunted down some animals, of which we don't actually have any meat anymore. We did. That's fine, that's fine. We got some prisoners left over here that we can recruit. We got our kitchen that for now is very, very bare bones. Same with our, let's say, this is kind of a research area and this is everything area <laughs> for now. Even dining's over here. Uh, this storage room is also too small and crowded. Let's not even talk about the toilet. And, well, the bedrooms are the coolest looking place at least. I'm gonna need somebody that can clean as a first priority now and we are mining some copper and steel over here so that is great and we do have some preliminary defenses this is gonna all get cut down so we have a nice easy way to shoot anybody who comes through here and of course we'll have to be afraid of anybody else that comes from any other direction but i think for the first episode we've done some good work and in the next one we're gonna do some even more good work now before we finish, just a quick reminder, you can become part of this colony, like Steve, Robert, Nuke, and Lost have been. Eddie, Panda, Max, Baltox, and Eevee, all they need to be, they all need to be renamed. So if you want to be part of these, let me know in the comments below. Leave a backstory if you want to. For now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.